Hi, this is Zach from Z Boot Reviews, and today we will be reviewing the Pele Sports Galileo. Uh, we are going to start by talking about the upper, which is which Pele called the Renaissance upper. And uh, this upper, it f when you you have it in your hand, it feels a little bit weird. Like it's got this kind of like vinyl-y feel to it. It's a uh, as you can see, it's shiny, and so it. It seems like it should be a bit slippery, but it's got this kind of like soft coating on the outside that actually gives it pretty good grip on the ball. And uh, I was really, really impressed with this upper that Pele released. Um, and it actually has really good feel. It's not the thinnest upper you'll ever find, but uh, it's got a good feel on the ball. Not great, but... That's kind of to be expected, given that this is a second-tier cleat, mid-tier cleat. And, uh, it's actually, I, f I think it's as good as some of the uppers on nicer boots. Like, the, it's probably, I think it was a little bit better than the Vapor 7, possibly comparable to, uh, I don't know, some of the higher-end cleats that, uh, people actually like the uppers on. Um... Moving on to the insole, I was actually really impressed with the insole that Pele Sports released here. This is, a, uh, it's perforated as you can see. It's got all the little holes in it. And, uh, yet they, even though they're going all out to make it lightweight, it's still a really soft insole. And, uh, I didn't have any discomfort in this insole except for the very first time I wore it, which, uh, is probably to be expected with most cleats get a little bit of discomfort the first time you wear them but uh other than that i had no issues with this and uh through here you can see those four ridges the first time i wore those cleats those were not there those came because there are four indentations on the bottom of the inside of the cleat that uh the foam kind of gets molded into as you put your weight on it and uh I think that just kind of shows like how soft this foam actually is and uh, how like moldable it is and it ends up feeling really nice on your foot. I do kind of wish that uh, the top in here was a bit stickier. I found that your foot can slide around a little bit especially given how much traction these cleats give you. I found that uh, you can see it's a pretty shiny material and uh, your foot slips around a little bit in there. But it's not terrible. It's probably something you'd expect from a mid-tier cleat. Not the best, but still good. And then, um, moving on to the outsole. This is what Pele Sports wants you to remember. It's a great outsole. This is actually my favorite outsole I've ever used. And, um... It's great for cutting. You get a ton of traction. These cleats, if you look at them, these cleats are actually really, really long. And I, uh, N Pele Sports claims that they will actually prevent you from rolling an ankle. And, um, they also claim that they'll make you faster. Truth is, they will not make you faster. Or at least, I haven't tested them because one of the cleats actually broke off my other pair, which is part of what I'm going to get to. But they you don't feel faster when you wear them, but they definitely do not slow you down. They have great traction, great cutting. Um, again, best one I've ever used. Uh, you can see they've only got three studs on the heel, and... You can't tell when you wear them. Like a lot of people, uh, I've heard them saying that they think it's going to be either like uncomfortable or you're going to feel unstable. You actually feel really stable in this cleat. And uh, I noticed you sometimes, rarely, but sometimes get some stud pressure from this cleat just because uh, you often have a lot of weight on it and it is actually a really thin, soft in, uh, outsole. And so uh, that's one area that's maybe just not as good as it could be. 
But overall, this is an amazing in outsole until this happens. Yes, that cleat is broken. Um, this actually happened. I played with them a few times, and then uh, here's the piece. I played with them a, a few times, probably like four to five hours worth of playing, maybe a little bit more. But uh, still, that shouldn't cause that to happen. Like, you can see. Meh. I'm not going to get that to stay up. Or stay on. But like, you can see, that's a pretty clean break. And uh, that should not happen after four to five hours of playing in this cleat. And um, the cleat actually didn't fall off while I was playing. It fell off in my bag in between games and so durability is a major issue in this cleat um, I, I just can't tell someone I would recommend this to them I can't tell someone yes this is a good cleat go buy it because you're only gonna get a couple of plays out of them now I did use these on turf and I did use these exclusively on turf for the four to five hours I actually used them. And so I just feel if you want to go spend a hundred dollars on a pair of cleats, you could go get a pair of cleats that is going to last a lot longer than this, even if you use them on turf. So I just can't justify saying to a friend or to any of you guys, go get these, they're worth it. And so, um, and I'm really sorry to do that, because other than that, I really like this cleat, but, uh, yeah. And, like, even, like, their comfort, it's good. Like, it's a comfortable cleat, which isn't something you necessarily think of when you think of a lightweight cleat. And these weigh 7.3 ounces, at least that's what they're listed at. Um, I know there are often a li little bit of discrepancy between what they actually weigh and what they're listed at but uh they're very comfortable for a cleat that only weighs 7.3 ounces and uh I was really disappointed when that came off and uh one last thing I wanted to point out is um this is still on comfort these do not have the memory foam insert type thing on the tongue this is just a straight tongue. I'm not sure if I can get a good shot of it. That's pretty good. My light just went out. Sorry. But, uh, like, the, there's no memory foam insert. So, you're not, you can get lace bite. These aren't like the Trinities in that sense. Even though they are pretty darn similar. They do not have that, and so, uh, again, lace bite can be an issue. Also, the laces, this is just something I just remembered, the laces are extremely long. Um, I, uh, <laughs> I actually tripped over them, like, three or four times just in the short time I was playing. I ended up, uh, usually having to wrap them, like, under the m middle of the foot and then tie them, but, uh, that's not a huge issue, it's just something that's a bit of a, like a minor annoyance. So overall, great cleat from Pele Sports, Pele Sports, sorry, great cleat from Pele Sports, except for the durability. If they can fix that, I would immediately tell you, go buy them. Until they fix that, I'd advise you to stay away. Alright guys, that's the review. Uh, check me out on Twitter and Facebook at Zboot Reviews. I'll leave a link down in the description. Also, uh, please feel free to hit the like button. Please feel free to subscribe. Um, if not, that's cool. And that's all for today, guys. See you next time.